Hello fellow captains, this is a brand new Let's Play series in Star Trek Online. I am your host, and today we are finally going to do the Jem'Hadar, or Dominion Faction, in Star Trek Online. So this new, quote, faction was released with the fourth expansion in Star Trek Online called Victory is Life. This expansion is basically all about the Gamma Quadrant, including Deep Space Nine. So if you are familiar with the Deep Space Nine Star Trek series, this will fit right in there. If you have never seen Star Trek Deep Space Nine, some of this may be foreign to you, but it's still very good sci-fi and still an excellent thing to watch. So I hope you do enjoy this Let's Play series. As I mentioned, I will be playing the new Jim Hadar faction. This is my first time playing this, so this is my first creation and character uh, creation and everything of a Jim Hadar. Now, I have previously played all the Gamma Quadrant missions, but I did so under the Federation. So, if you want to go check out my playthrough of the Starfleet Federation. Uh, character Ensign Ricky that I created I will put a link uh, in the top right corner and the last like seven episodes of that playlist of that series is of the new Gamma Quadrant missions so I have experienced those under the guise of the Federation and so now I will be experiencing all of those under the guise of the Jim Hadar. Plus, there's probably some unique Jim Hadar mission stuff. And since I'm playing as a Jim Hadar, the storylines might might be a little bit different, considering I am actually a Jim Hadar. So obviously, this is all brand new stuff for me, and I don't know what to expect. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you stick around. If you've never seen any of my videos before. I'm a very thorough Let's Play player. Uh, I will explore the world. I will read all the dialogue. I will read any text messages, um, any ebooks, anything inside the game that's relevant to the mission. I will read all of those things. So I do take my time and explore the world. So my videos tend to be on the longer side. That's just the way it is. So there you go. That's what you can expect. All right, so uh, also I am playing the game here, Star Trek Online. This is 2018, by the way, with that I'm starting this playthrough in the summer of 2018. I am playing the game at maximum game settings. The graphics are maxed out at 1440p at a solid 60 FPS for your enjoyment, of course. So let's start here. I am going to be playing the Jim Hadar Vanguard. So this is the higher up. Jim Hadar. This is the better than the regular one. So you've got the regular one here who is just Jim Hadar and that's of course what everyone will have access to. Or you've got this improved one called the Jim Hadar Vanguard and see this little check mark here means that it is a C store item that I have purchased because I have the whole Vanguard Jim Hadar Dominion package uh, DLC basically that Star Trek Online launched. I bought the full thing so I have access to all the special stuff in that and one of those things is this improved Jim Hadar Vanguard. So this is a Vanguard playthrough. Um, what makes him different is honestly his he's got an extra space trait that the regular Jim Hadars don't have. I think that's pretty much the only difference. So let's just read his description real quick. While the Jim Hadar are formidable soldiers, the founders occasionally have need of elite forces within the Dominion. The Jim Hadar, known as the Vanguard, have additional resources dedicated to their maturation and training process, resulting in a breed of super soldier that is even more impressive than the already capable regular forces of the Dominion. As with other Jim Hadar, the Vanguard are dependent on a special chemical known as Ketracel White, which serves as their sole source of sustenance. So this is going to be interesting because never before have we had a character in Star Trek Online that is reliant on a substance that we have to actually keep track of. 
So Ketracel White is what our, obviously, Jim Hadar will need to survive. Now here's all the traits that they come with. And of course, these are all... Um, these are all changeable. As we level up in our character, we can change these traits. But I want to look at this one right here because this is the unique one that comes with the Vanguard that does not come with the regular one. So it's a Jim Hadar Vanguard are designed and intended for the most intense combat encounters and feature enhanced space combat techniques. Their enhanced combat training has made them incredibly effective at defeating their opponents through superior defense capabilities on both ground and in space. So in space, there's a bonus weapon damage, a critical chance, and critical severity buff. On ground, there's bonus damage and ranged weapons and melee attacks, critical chance, and critical severity. So that's the Jem'Hadar Vanguard trait. That's what we're going to get by using the Jem'Hadar Vanguard over the regular one. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, in the future, if you guys would like to see it, let me know, of course. Um, I will also roll a Jim Hadar regular as well. But for right now, I'm starting with the Vanguard because that's what I have access to. It's the best one, and I really want the best experience I can get. So that's what I'm going for right now. And here's all the other traits. Um, Shroud allows you to briefly cloak and increase the damage of your next attack. The stealth and damage bonuses expire when you attack. When you attack, so I'm looking forward to finding out what all these different traits are as they apply to the Jem'Hadar. Uh, that'll be real interesting. So definitely, that is our character. Now for our career, I am going to go with a science career on a Jem'Hadar. Now, oh, I know that sounds strange. Wouldn't I want to go with tactical or engineering with the Jem'Hadar? Well, yes, that would be good. But I've got three reasons why I'm going to start with science. Number one, I always start with the science career on a brand new faction. In fact, my very first character I created in Star Trek Online was a science career. So I like having my primary character in that faction be a science character. Second, all of my um, factions that I run, I do all the careers anyway. I have three characters for each faction. That way I have an engineering, science, and tactical. So in the future, I will have an engineering and a tactical Jim Hadar. But for right now, I gotta start somewhere and I'm gonna start with the science. And then number three, all the Let's Plays I've done recently have been a tactical or engineering. My most recent playthrough with the uh, Reman on the Romulan faction is a tactical character. And with Ensign Ricky, I've done just a whole bunch of engineering stuff with him lately and i even did a free to play character not too long ago that was also engineering so i've done a lot of tactical and engineering lately and it's time that we go back and do something a little different science i'm going with a science career so as you can see yes my videos are a little bit expositiony there's going to be a lot of talking there's going to be uh, pretty lengthy so just uh, I don't want to hear complaints about that. I'm just giving you a warning up front. This is what you can expect from my playthrough. It's going to be very thorough. I do talk a lot, and the and the videos will be lengthy, but that is, I'm warning you now, that is what you can expect. Okay, now as far as our looks for the character here, I mean, I don't know what makes the Jim Hadar look like a good Jim Hadar. I mean, I don't know. I kind of just like the default face. I figure in the future we can go back into the tailor and, you know, customize his looks if we want to. But these looks are not all that different. You know what I'm saying? They're not all that different. They're just different spiky things in different places. So, honestly, I don't necessarily like this thing on his forehead, though. So let's change him. Let's do... Um, Let's see what I like here. I kind of like that look. That's a very aggressive look right there. I'm just seeing what my options are. I actually like that one. Man, he is really scaly, isn't he? <laughs> 
this one. Let's go with this one right here. That's a, that's a good balance. I like that. All right, so as far as his uniform goes, we either have the regular Jem'Hadar soldier uniform or the Vanguard uniform. So I will keep with the Vanguard uniform for right now. And his body, I mean, I don't see what I would want to change about his body right now. It's fine. In the future, we can probably go in and change these things. Again, with the head type, skin type, eyes, hairstyle. Let's we'll see what hair we get. We don't have much difference in hair. In fact, for the Vanguard, there's only two hair options. And I definitely like the fuller hair on him. So, yeah, there's really nothing that I would want to change here right now. And then under uniform, I guess we'll just keep with the standard Vanguard uniform for right now. In the future, I will look at... You know what is available in terms of uh, uniform options and everything but let's just go with the standard right now we'll go ahead and add a Jim Hadar badge it add that little badge on him why not um, okay so next yeah I won't worry about his hair color or eye color or face color or anything like that right now we'll just take care of all that in the future Okay, so I want to introduce everybody to Jim. That's right, this is Jim the Hadar of the DV Purple People Eater. Now, I need to explain that name a little bit. Jim and Jim the Hadar. And I will after we start the tutorial. But there's a reason why I'm calling him Jim, and there's a bit of a backstory on him that I will probably fill in later, but it's kind of working itself in my brain right now. But I got an idea for Jim the Hadar. You are my most trusted soldiers. We can't defeat the enemy alone. We'll need the help of old friends and old enemies. We can't win through force of arms. Deception, stealth, and misdirection will help us stay alive. epic intro guys that was an epic intro I loved that what a great introduction to the game ooh this is Dominion prison facility and there I am in the rain clenching my fists Several containment cells at this penal installation have been breached. A number of prisoners are attempting to escape. Their likely destination is the shuttle facility and landing area. Hunt. Meet up with Beta Squad. Hunt down groups of escaped prisoners. Okay, so... What you probably notice by now, and what is different from the other factions in Star Trek Online, this one is very unique because look at the level that we're starting at. We're starting at level 60. And the max in-game level in this game is 65. So we have skipped everything. We have skipped every possible level in the game all the way up to, well, end game status almost. We only have five more levels to go. 
and then we're max level up to 65. So that makes the Jim Hadar faction extremely unique and is, of course, a source of contention among gamers as well. Because do you consider this a full faction? Well, really, you can't because you don't start at the beginning, you start at the end. So, really, it's not a full faction. And what does that mean? Well, it means that all your gear and all your ship setup and everything is already set up at in-game status. Which means you haven't got to develop your character along the way. You haven't gotten to develop your gear and your ship build and your ground build. All this is just predetermined by Cryptic. They have predetermined a build for you instead of you getting to decide what your build is like throughout your career. And that is a little different than what we're used to. So I'm interested in seeing how that is going to play out here because I have no idea what is going on right now in terms of my gear and setup. Obviously, I've got a weapon. I've got ground powers. So they have me set up for something for what I don't know. I wonder if we can look at it. So here's what I've got. Here's what it has me up with. It's got me with the Jem'Hadar armor and the Jem'Hadar personal shield and the Jem'Hadar Polaron full auto rifle and a Jem'Hadar Polaron beam pistol. I've got Ketrasso White. That's something we have to have. When consumed by the Jem'Hadar, plus 10% all damage, max hit points, increased run speed, and empowers Shroud for three hours of game time. And apparently we need to have Ketrasso White constantly. We also have a uh, medium hypo. I've got a medium power cell and a medium shield charge. Things I don't even normally use in my playthroughs. I've got a science kit. We have science powers. I've got triage, exothermic induction, hyperonic radiation, medical tricorder, and sonic pulse is what they have me set up with. I apparently have a ship. I've got a Jim'Hadar Escort Tier 5U. So that's the thing. It's got a Starship Mastery on it to unlock that's not unlocked yet. So it's a bug ship. So pretty much our starter ship is a bug ship and it's a Tier 5U bug ship. And it looks like, again, we have Polaron weaponry on it. Dual cannons. Regular cannons. Quantum torpedo and a beam. It's got a cannon beam set up. Jim Hadar deflector, Jim Hadar impulse engines, matter antimatter warp core, Jim Hadar resilient shield. It's got a turret in the back, an omnidirectional beam, and then a quantum torpedo in the back. It's got that because it's an escort. We've got an EPS flow regulator. I didn't mean to do that. We have a hole plating, diburnium. We have plasma distribution manifold and neutronium. We got two shield, two shield capacities, shield regeneration, Polaron, 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 and quantum projectile. So this is not the kind of a build that I would do on my own ship, so I have to go with what Cryptic gives me, because that's all that I have. Our inventory space is empty. I'm just kind of looking around because I want to get a feel for what we've got, what we're dealing with, starting off. Because again, I didn't get to decide any of this stuff. It's just given to me straight up right here. We have a fighter equipped. We got a Jim Hadar fighter for shuttle missions, and it has good weaponry on it too, actually. And here's our bridge officers, and actually they are they're trained in uh, specialties. We've got a temporal operative. We've got an intelligence specialist. We've got a miracle worker specialist. And we got a, a command specialist. So that's interesting that we have each of the specialties here already as well. And uh, they're kitted out as well. They also have Jim Hadar armor and shields and weapons. So I've actually got a pretty good away team already set up for me. And they're all Jim Hadar as well. So that's really interesting. At least the, with the bridge officers, I don't have to mess around with them. They're all set up and ready to go. Let's see. All my see. Here's another thing that 
I wouldn't personally agree on is how the skills are set up, the skill levels. But, you know, this is how it is, so this is what we got to deal with. I have, like, just one and one and one and one and then two and that. And, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know yet how my skills... I guess I can retrain. Again, all my traits are also set for me. I, I don't even... I'm not even going to take the time right now to look through them. Look, my space and ground, everything is already set for me. That's this. That's why this is weird. This faction is weird. Because all this stuff... Is, and look, my reputation, too, has already started. I've already got a Tier 5 in Task Force Omega. And a Tier 5 in Nukara. And a Tier 5 in Iconian. Holy crap. So... Yeah... It's really strange, isn't it? It's just really strange. We know what's new in Victory is Life. Wow. Okay, Jim. Meet up with the Beta Squad. What do we have to go here? Ooh, a lot of th squads here. How do I get down there? <laughs> That is not how I get down there. Oh, this way. I don't like this Polaron weapon. This full auto rifle is not my favorite weapon. I don't like how it fires. But that's what I got, so... I guess I can switch between them. Try to power through the pain. Oh, these are the enemies. <laughs> These are Cardassians, aren't they? Yeah, these are Cardassians I'm fighting. Oh man, I just do not like that weapon. Okay, pretty easy so far. Let's see, 343 on shields, 834 on health. While we're going to the next battle zone, uh, let me just tell you the format of how the videos will be. Each each mission will be a separate video. They found us. Get up! Run! Each mission that I do, um, that I play, will be a new video. Except for this one, which is the tutorial. Well done. You drove the escapees into our fortified position. Victory is life. Our guard unit was decimated during the breakout. We should form a new squad and deal with the remaining escapees. The honor of leadership should be yours. I don't know who just said that, but... One of the Jim Hadar. I guess these are my bridge officers that are joining me and while we're in battle, so that's cool. So now I have some help. Ram Taral and Exo Exo Ixten. So like I said, this tutorial video will probably be a very long video. But each new mission will be a new video and any special videos I do, like upgrading ship gear, doing any major changes to the character, getting a new starship. More escapees ahead. They have yet to detect our presence. I recommend we keep it that way. We should activate our shroud to gain the advantage. Agreed. Activate shroud now. Okay. How do I do that? Is it activated? No. Sonic pulse. That's that. This is mental discipline. Oh, shroud. Here we go. So basically... Excellent. Now you can make a surprise assault. So basically, this is the Jim Hadar's ability to cloak themselves. Nothing useful in here. We should keep moving. Okay. Um. Attack?
trying to see where my abilities are. So, so far I see the point of the tutorial here is to get you inclined with, you know, how to fire weapons in Star Trek Online if you've never played before. Check for life signs. They're gone. Keep moving. Now, like I said, I will explain Jim the Hadar. Um, basically, Jim the Hadar, Jim the Hadar is kind of an outcast. Um... He is breaking free from his Dominion training, you should say, and kind of forming a mind. An of additional his own. dose of Ketracel White provides a temporary boost. You say that, huh? Boss, we got incoming. That shuttle ready yet? A large number of prisoners are escaping the facility and heading your way. Stop them. Okay. Here they come. We'll set them on fire. I don't think they'll like that. <laughs> so like I said, Jim is um, starting to question his Jim Hadarness. Starting to become a bit of a free thinker, you could say. And so, Jim, in this this new uh, thought pattern he has, well, he wants to integrate more with the, um, let's do that. He needs to integrate more with, well, the humans and everybody else in the galaxy, right? So, Jim adopts a name. I have seen enough. Computer, end program. Ooh, this is just a computer simulation. Now, now this is um, Duke and Rex, and he is the uh, Jim Hadar that Odo basically raised on DS9, and he is loyal to Odo and also questions his, uh, his Jim Hadarness. Remember, victory is life. And so Jim here in the need to adopt a name that is more human-like, uh, looks up some of Starfleet's best captains. And, well, he's not very creative, Jim the Hadar. He's just not creative. Because he's a Jim Hadar, it's just, he's genetically not creative. So, he sees that he is called Jim Hadar. And he sees that there's this great captain out there in the past called Jim James T Kirk Jim so he see he sees that he sees he's called Jim Hadar and he says wait if I'm Jim Hadar why don't I just name myself Jim again he's not very creative guys let's let's give him some let's give him a, the, the courtesy here um, and give him a kudos and pat on the back for his cleverness. For him, this is clever. So he is called Jim. Just Jim. Others can call him by his full name, which he has also adopted if they need to, Jim the Hadar. And here we, ha and here we go. Here we are. <laughs> That's the story. Talk to uh, Exo Xten. Your leadership skills are sound. I am Eco Ixton, and I would be honored to follow you in battle. I offer my service to your unit. Mm. Okay, sounds good. Sure, why not? I have no choice. You fight well. I see now why the honored elder chose you for this duty. I am Rem Taral. It would be good to serve under your command. I offer my services to you and your unit. Well, again, I have no choice, so victory is life. Duke and Rex. 
A well-executed operation. You showed initiative and inspired others to follow your lead and achieve success. Your promotion to first is all but assured. All that remains is confirmation from the Vorta commander. I will take you to him now. Follow me. Okay. Now, as I said, uh, this is my new character and I am creating him during the Gamma Recruits event. So technically he should be a Gamma Recruit once I reach a certain level or something like that or a certain mission I have to do he will become what's called a Gamma Recruit which is a little bit of an extra thing on top of the Jem'Hadar. It's similar to the Delta Recruits and the uh, Temporal Recruits. It's basically um, some extra storyline content and maybe some extra missiony type things I have to look for and do in missions but it will benefit my character and all of my characters because the rewards are account wide I believe. Take this turbo lift to the bridge. You are to speak to the Vorta known as Wayun. He awaits you there, along with his adjutant, Loris, and a founder. I trust you appreciate the need to report to the lead Vorta as soon as possible. He is not the only one evaluating you. All right. So we're on a ship. I love the purple round jewels. It's very cool looking. Yeah, I'm on a ship and I have free access here. So uh, before I go to the bridge, let's just look around. Remember, I like to explore. I've said that before, so I do do that. Every now and then you find a hidden gem, you know? A little storyline element, a little something, maybe an accolade even. You never know what's hidden in these missions, so I do like to do the exploring. Well, for example, oh, this is a bridge. Oh, so there's other things back here. Ship manager and ship acquisitions. Okay, cool. I didn't find those yet, but... Well, we're on the bridge, so let's do our thing. Oh, it did it for me. Prepare the fleet. We need to reach the Bajor system as soon as possible. Of course, Founder. We'll be ready for transit within the hour. So that's Odo, of course. And Loris. And Wayun. Welcome. Honored Elder Dukon Rex speaks quite highly of you. And after evaluating your latest performance, I can see the praise is well earned. I'm pleased to inform you that the Founders have chosen to bestow the rank of First upon you. May you continue to serve them well. I would expect no okay. less. One more thing. The Founders, in their wisdom, have also granted you the right to report directly to them when necessary. To speak to your gods is quite an honor. Unexpected, perhaps. But we live in most unusual times. The Founders will contact you when they have need of your skills. In the meantime, I suggest you prepare yourself, your unit, and your ship for service. Speak with my adjutant, Loris Four. She'll help you prepare for the challenges ahead in the Alpha Quadrant. Remember, victory is life. Victory is life. By the way, I love the set design of this ship. It's really cool looking. The uh, panels look really good. The graphics look good for this game. Uh, this looks really good. Um, yeah, this is cool. And of course, they have no view screen or anything like that. Remember, they operate with those like virtual reality glasses on. I love the shadowing coming through there. Isn't that cool? Talk to Loris. Greetings and congratulations on your promotion. I am Loris Four. I will help you maximize your efforts to bring glory to the Founders. Head to the requisitions room across the hall. Someone will assist you. While right. you're there, you may also wish to acquire a different vessel or switch the ship you'll command. Each ship requires certain bridge officers to function efficiently. Be certain you have the officers you need before heading out. Report to Wayun when you are ready to depart. He will distribute the Ketracel White for your unit at that time. Exit the way you came in. Turn right, then head left and enter requisitions. Turn right and head left. 
Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna change my ships right away. I mean, what what do I know? Everything's already built for me. I might as well try it out and see what it what it's like. Because I can always change it later. Congratulations on your promotion first. Loris has cleared you to select a ship to command. There are several impressive vessels to choose from. Take a look at the store. If you have previously purchased other ships, you can gain access to them here. Well, I do have access to all of my ships. Well, all of the ships that I purchased. But, again, I don't know what I want to fly yet. I mean, I have never been in Jem'Hadar before, so I don't know what ships are good or bad or best or whatever. And I don't know what my play style is going to be yet. Obviously, I'm going to be a science officer, so I want a more science-y kind of ship, but I don't know what that would be just yet. So I'm going to start with the ship they give us, which is just this Tier 5 U ship. I think for the next coming missions it will be just fine, and it will give me some time to figure out how I want to build my character. I guess that's one of the downsides with everything being done for you is I don't know where to even start. I don't know where to, you know, what to change or what to do yet. Um, because I have a never, I have no experience on the character. I have no experience using any of the stuff or flying any Jim Hadar ships, you know, leveling up. So I don't know what kind of stuff I want yet. That's really the problem. So I guess I'm just going to go with what they've given me and I'm going to play it with that experience right now. That way, at least you guys will see what the experience of the Jim Hadar faction is like with what they give you rather than what somebody has custom built. Now, later in the future, I will, of course, custom build. I will change my ship, and I will have my own gear, and I will do my own thing. Just not yet, because I don't even know what my own thing is. Does that make sense? I just don't know what that is yet. But let's look at the different ships that they do have for us. We have a Jem'Hadar Vanguard carrier. So we can fly this, like, really big carrier ship that has two hangar bays. That's going to be a thing. One, two, three, four, five. It's got five science consoles, so that could be interesting. It's got Lieutenant Commander Science and Intelligence Station, and it's got a Commander Science. So if I want to fly a carrier, being a science captain could be fun on a carrier. And we've got a Dreadnought Cruiser, Tier 6. It's very heavy on the engineering. So this would be more for, like, an engineering character, I guess. It's a big cruiser. We've got the Vanguard Warship, and it's very heavy on tactical. Obviously, it's a warship, so, you know, more tactically inclined. Escorty, you could say. We also have a Heavy Raider. This one, again, is more on tactical. And a lot of universal slots, but still more on tactical, I would say. Then we have a Jem'Hadar Fighter, which is just your shuttle-type ship. So, really, there's not any... The, the most sciencey ship, believe it or not, is actually the carrier. Because it has the most science consoles. It's got a commander science station for tier 3 science abilities. And it has an intelligence station as well. So really the most sciencey ship is the weirdest one, the carrier, for me. I'm not a big carrier fan. I don't play carrier ships, really. So playing as a science character is going to be challenging on this character for sure because I don't know that I want to fly a carrier. These other ships interest me more. Maybe not the Dreadnought, maybe not the Heavy Raider, uh, or maybe the Heavy Raider, maybe the Warship, or maybe the Raider. No, maybe the Raider would be better. Eh, but it's a Raider. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what I'm going to end up flying. That's why I'm going to start with what they're giving me right now, which is just the escort. And we'll go from there, because I don't know what I want. I really don't. I don't know what's going to work good yet. And then this is where you can manage your ships and all that. I'm just going to go with this right now because, yeah, I don't know what I want yet. It's just too early to tell. I haven't done any missions yet. I've done none. How would I possibly know what I want? Are you prepared for combat? 
The Founder has ordered the fleet to battle stations. We will depart as soon as you are ready. I'm ready. Can you vouch for the loyalty of your men? We pledge our loyalty to the Founders from now until death. Then receive this reward from the Founders. May it keep you strong. See the way he was looking at the catcher cell white? He's thinking. His brain is we thinking. We're detecting a number of derelict vessels ahead on sensors. It looks like they ran afoul of some Idrin swarmers. How unfortunate. I believe this will be a teachable moment for our newly promoted first. Norris? I agree, of course. First, I'd like you to move ahead of the fleet and eliminate the swarmers. Take out the derelict vessels as well. They'll attract more vermin otherwise. All right, well, I don't like all my buttons being up here. I want them all down here. I'm going to have to take some time and rearrange this stuff later. But for now, we'll go with it because it's already here. Tactical team, type pattern beta, torpedo spread three, scatter volley three, beam fire at will. Interesting, I've got beam fire at will, but yet I only have one beam. That's pointless. Why would Cryptic do that? What a stip, stu, stupid, what a stupid choice. Beam fire at will on a ship that only has one beam? I guess technically we have two if we do, okay, so if we broadside, we got, well, no, I guess because it's omnidirectional, it fires forward. Okay, okay, I get it. I can see it now with the two beams, but still, just two beams and fire at will? That's not a lot either. Uh, I don't know what everything is. Boost morale. I know what that is. We've got... Okay, I guess I get it. Here's photonic fleet. I have that. I have scatter, volley, sensor scan. This should be subnucleonic beam. Okay, I'm getting a feel for it. Everything's activated. Well, let's just go in and do this. Let's do one of them and one of them. All right, not so bad, not so bad at all. What was that, weapon power? Yes, it was. Hiding in the transport? Who is hiding in the transport? Okay.
quite a few of them. Do you need any assistance? Have yeah. faith, Wayu. Our new first will surely prevail. I'm doing pretty good by myself. I'm doing pretty okay, honestly. All ships, gather near the wormhole entrance. Really? We're going through the wormhole? Go through the wormhole? Okay. Yes, we are. Oh yeah, I guess we were headed to Beijing. All ships, prepare for transit to the Alpha Quadrant. Is your vessel ready for the journey after your encounter with the Swarmers? Yeah, I'm ready. As of this moment, we are all dead. We go, we into, go battle into battle to reclaim, reclaim our, our lives. lives. This we do gladly, for we are Jemadar. Remember, victory is life. Victory is life. So this is where we're going to fight the Herc, right? I have a task I'd like you to handle personally. Oh no, this is uh... There's a Zen Cafe battle station oh. in this sector. It's heavily damaged and in danger of being destroyed in combat. I need you to extract a high value target from it before that happens. The fleet will clear a path for you to the station. You will then beam down with an away team and escort Zen Cafe Admiral Zen Talek to safety. Understood. I get it now. I know where we are. I will make our intentions clear to the Alliance before they open fire on us. What? The Dominion is on our side? I know where we are now. This is the end of one of the uh, Zenkethi missions. That's cool. Hurry. We don't know our target status. Okay. Had to get through all that first. Yeah, I know where it put us now. We're in one of the uh, Zenkethi missions. Like the last... We've entered transporter range the to next, the station uh, first. The, the next Is your away team ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The next to the last mission of the Zenkethi missions. The one where we, uh, where this happens. <laughs> and the Our Dominion come. Our have detected the Admiral. He is on the station's upper level in the command area. I recommend haste. The Herc are likely to overrun the station, and soon. Find the Admiral and get him to safety. I'll update you once that happens. We're just on the uh, opposite side of that battle now. We're, we are the Dominion that came to the rescue for the Alliance. That is so cool how they um, took this from a different perspective, you know? And I actually, since I've played the Gamma Quadrant missions, I know why we are looking for this particular commander. But I won't say it unless you... Haven't been spoiled. The Herc. Well, here they come. I guess we're going to battle with them. And I don't even know where all my powers are.
Everybody on board. Not what I wanted. Make sure to take all the loot because we can use that. Klingons. Talk to Commander Chadera. Hadar, here? If you come to help, you will be welcomed. If not, today is a good day to die for you. We're here for the Admiral. The Zen Kefi? Hm. He's caused enough trouble for one day. Take him away if you wish. Feel free to crush any hook you should find, too. There's plenty to go around. All right, here they come. Where do they come? Oh, right here. Um, target them, please. There we go. I hate that little effect thing they do there. Clear the control center of the Herc. Uh, I can't jump over the glass. There we go, that takes care of him easily. Fine Admiral Zenteric. Guessing this one over here. Chimbadar? Not the Liberators I was expecting to be certain. But I will not refuse your aid. You are here to rescue me, yes? If not, I would like to die on my feet in combat. You will come with us. Very well. I have a war-capable shuttle on this station near the escape pods. I'll give you access to that section. Take me to it. Okay. Escort Zen Tarek to safety. Of course. Honestly, this is not a bad build. I mean, I got what I need and I'm able to take out the enemy pretty decently. So... Not terrible. Not what I would choose but not terrible.
And I guess we Level have secure. mental we need discipline. Elsewhere. Fight well. You've done well. My well shovel is not soldier. I can make it from here. My shovel is just beyond this door. What is your saying? Ah, yes. Victory is life. Huh. Indeed it is. Okay, victory I is life. I see you've taken the Admiral out of harm's way. I expected nothing less from one of our finest. I have a new task for you first. Make your way to the torpedo bay and set one of the torpedoes there to detonate. That will take care of all the Herc on board quite nicely. It'll be done, but um, you mind if I kill these Herc first? All right. Bunch of stuff going on there. I like these little floaty mine things that they have. Is there still more over there? Persistent. I'm gonna go back and get this loot uh, because it's useful. If nothing else, I can use it to re-engineer things. Okay, not that way. And not that way. We need to go back then this way. And this would be Starfleet. Talk to Commander Marin. Jem Hadar, huh? <laughs> this day just gets more and more interesting. If you're here for a fight, you'll get one. But with all this proto matter around us, it might be brief. We are not your enemies. Fantastic. If you're not here to fight, I'm gonna assume you're here to help. We were about to disarm all these beauties. I'm sure you noticed this place is a little unstable. No one's thrilled with the idea of all this proto matter exploding. Want to give us a hand? I have orders to destroy the station. Right. And you figured a room full of proto matter would be the best way to make it go boom? <sighs> Wonderful. Look, let's compromise. We'll neutralize the proto matter in all but one of these torpedoes, which you'll set to detonate. Everyone's happy. My team needs three minutes to get it done. You okay with this plan? I will confirm. Ah, the renowned Starfleet efficiency. Three minutes is an acceptable time frame. Let the good commander know we are agreeable to his terms. And first, don't tarry once the demolition task is complete. We require your skills in combat over Bejour. Okay. So I've got to defend. That's what I thought. One stack down. Keep up the good work. That is annoying. Way done. Keep doing what you do best. Okay.
less than a minute. Keep them off us. Proto matter's done, but the explosives are still intact. All right, proto matter is out of commission. Okay, checking in. We're good to go here. You want to push the big red button, or shall I? It's my duty to begin the detonation. Okay, where's the big red button? Nice work. It's been interesting, fighting with Jem'Hadar instead of the other way around. Well, Command wants us somewhere else, so adios. Try not to get shot, yeah? Victory is life, Starfleet. Hail Loris. Time is a factor here first. We have need of you back in space. Are you prepared to leave the station? Yeah. I think we did it. I think. You've done well first. I believe we are going to work together quite nicely. All for the glory of the Founders, of course. Our main task lies ahead. Simply put, we must save the Alliance forces in this sector from the Herc. I trust you're up for the challenge. The Herc will fall. It's cool we get to play this mission like twice, you know, first as um, whatever you were playing it for the first time and now we get to play it as the Dominion too. Slow down those Herc ships. They're much easier to hit that way. Mayday! Mayday! We're barely holding on here! Can anyone help? A Starfleet vessel is in trouble. Assist them. Target the herd! Forces! And fire! I don't think I succeeded. We picked up an incoming Herc dreadnought. <laughs> Stop the A Herc force is coming your way. I will assist you. Something tells me I didn't succeed. Because, um, they blew up. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. My bad. Fought victory first. You continue to impress. I live to serve the Founders. And the Founders want you to serve alongside the Alliance as part of their defensive forces. There are two viable factions to consider. The Federation 
and the Klingon Empire. It's indulgent, I know, but I think the final choice should be yours. Who shall it be? Ooh, so this is where you make the choice uh, right here in the tutorial. Didn't think it would be that soon. When you play the Romulan faction, it comes uh, much later. You have to play through many Romulan missions before you get to the point where you decide which faction you want. But no, right here on the Jim Hadar faction, right at the beginning, you decide. And you do have to align with either the Federation or the KDF. So again, not a full faction because you have to align with somebody. You can't just stay pure Dominion. And the Founders want you to serve alongside the Alliance as part of their defense force. There are two viable factions to consider. So the Founders are putting, up, putting us up alongside the Alliance. They want us to be part of the Alliance, either side, for whatever reason. So for my first playthrough of this, I'm going to choose the Federation. It's well known. I know that faction extremely well. And I'm already playing on the KDF faction with my uh, Riemann playthrough that I'm doing right now. So, since this is my first character on Jim Hadar and it is science, I'm going to go with the Federation. Now, when I do this again, uh, yeah, I'm, I will probably have a KDF aligned Jim Hadar in the future as well. But for this first one, I'm ready to make my decision. Choose, um, choose Starfleet. And that's it. I guess we're now part of Starfleet. Interesting choice. I think you'll fit in well there, eventually. Eventually. It might take some time to get used to the way they operate, but I believe you're ready for the challenge. Just a moment, Founder. Oh, no, I guess I'm ready. Interesting choice. Yes, I'm ready, Founder. This meeting is classified. You are one of a special breed, chosen by the Founders for great things. Well, yes, to I know To that end, that. we will supply you with special gear and training. Ooh, thank you. Use this transponder to directly contact us on a secure channel. Mm. I expect regular reports, especially regarding unusual developments. And do remember, victory is life. So I wonder if that's part of the Gamma Recruit thing right there. That must be the special Gamma Recruit thing, because they give you a transponder. Yeah, accolade complete, Gamma Recruit. Because they give you a transponder. I've got a Dominion transponder. You received one Gamma Recruit trait unlocked. New title, title choice, Gamma Recruit. And that's why, what we're going to use as contact for our Gamma Recruit part of this. Well, I guess that's the part of the system. That mission is over. Very cool that we got to play the Zenkethi mission from a different angle, the last Zenkethi mission. So now we know where we are in the storyline. Ooh, look at all that crap. I got all of my veteran rewards. Yes, I am a veteran. I am a lifetime subscriber, so I've got, you know, all the 1,000 day veteran rewards up to all that. And I guess it all just unlocked for me at once. And now we are left in space. We are here in my ship. Where's my ship? Can't see it because of the menu, but it's back there. Let's put this menu over here so we can see what's in front of me. Um, there's my ship. And so we are, where are we anyway? Oh, we're at uh, Bajor system. And I don't want to join. Uh, I got to turn fleet invites off. Actually, I need to get on my normal fleet, but do that later okay um so here we are in the major system and uh we are just left here we are level 60 and i guess we can do whatever we want now which would mean playing the missions really and so that would mean going in order so i'm looking at the mission logs here missions so the things we just did are actually three missions. I didn't realize that. It, it all seemed like one mission to me. But I guess we did turn the tide, ceremony, and hunt. Or hunt, ceremony, and then turn the tide. So really we just did three missions in one video. But honestly it all seemed like one mission. It was very 
cohesive and it just flowed from one to the other. So I'm going to put this all up, all up as one video. This will be my introduction, my tutorial, my first three missions, my engineered for war storyline that uh, gets us into the Jem'Hadar faction that we are. Um, and then, the, really, the next thing is to play the missions, the, the Gamma Quadrant missions, as a Jem'Hadar, which we have played now as a Federation Starfleet character before, but now I'm going to play it as a Jem'Hadar, and the first one will be Storm Clouds Gather. So the next video will be Storm Clouds Gather, but before I get to that, and before we start playing those missions as a Jim Hadar and leveling this character up, um, I've got to figure out. I need to do. I'm going to do some off-camera, like you know, studying. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to do some off-camera studying of what my current character. <coughs> what? I'm choking. <coughs> excuse me, real quick. That was terrible. I don't know what I was choking on. Um, as I was trying to say, I'm going to play this... I'm going to um, look at this character more in-depth off-camera and spend some time figuring out what Cryptic has done to it. You know, what do we have in terms of specializations and skills and gear and just everything. I'm going to go over everything on this character. I'm going to study it in detail. And I'm probably going to take my time to rearrange some things. I want to put all my powers on my hotbar, for example, in space. I want to put all my buttons on the ground in a certain configuration. I want to, you know, customize my build, right? Um, and maybe even make some changes. I may make some minor changes off camera. I don't know if I'm going to change ships yet or not. I don't know yet. Actually, I look for feedback from you all um, about that. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah. I may just keep this ship for a little while until I figure out what ship I want to fly. I may do a few missions with it so that I can just get a, a grasp on things. Because I don't know where I'm headed with this character quite yet. I really don't. I got a lot to learn and a lot to study. And so what I'll do is, like I said, when I have big changes to my character, like a new ship or new gear or anything that is new that I want to change, that I want to show you, I will make a special video about that. Um, otherwise, each mission that we do will be a new video all the way to get us to level 65. Obviously, that's the goal. We're going to get to max level with the character. We're going to play all the missions. But after that, here's the thing, is that the what's going to happen is we're going to eventually gain all of the Starfleet missions on this character. Now, I'm not going to record those. I'm not going to go back and record all the Starfleet missions because, well, there's just a lot of them. I would have a hundred videos, no doubt, in this series if I did that. I cannot replay every single Starfleet mission and record it. I mean, I'll play them, but I can't record every single one. But what I will record is anything that's new or unique to the Jim Hadar faction. So what I've heard and been told is that if you play the Cardassian missions from a Jim Hadar faction, there's a little bit of a difference there because you are a Jim Hadar. So I probably will record all of the Cardassian missions. So anything new and unique that I find, I will record. But anything that is repetitive or that I've done in other playthroughs, like all the Starfleet missions, for example, Spectres and the Borg missions, and, you know, you go through all the Wasteland missions and the Romulan missions, you go through all those missions, I have played those several times on other playthroughs, and it would just be repetitive to re-record those missions. Just really repetitive. Even though it's from a Jim Hadar, even though I'm on a Jim Hadar, it would be so very repetitive. 
So what I'm going to do instead is, like I said, just record the new missions. I'm going to record all the Gamma Quadrant missions on this Jim Hadar, and then I'm going to record, you know, changing ships, upgrading to a new ship, um, doing battle and combat in that new ship and showing you what that ship can do, reviewing each ship. I will review each uh, Jim Hadar ship. I'm going to go through, I guess I'll probably end up going through all the Jim Hadar ships to review them over time. Once I get this character maxed out, I will go through and review each Jim Hadar ship. And, uh, and then we'll look at different things on ground as well. And I'll just, if I find anything interesting to make a video about on that Jim Hadar faction in the future, I will just add to this playlist. So this will be kind of like an ongoing series in a way. I'm going to record everything you see here under Gamma Quadrant. I'm going to do all the Gamma Recruit stuff. And then as time goes on, I will make newer Jim Hadar videos on this faction and add to this playlist as is relevant. That's how I plan to do this whole thing. So I'm just kind of laying out my plan. I want you to know that I'm not going to record every single Starfleet mission. I'm just going to record the new stuff that's relevant to the Jim Hadar faction. And so that means this will be a smaller playlist than my other playlist. It won't be, you know, extremely long, but over the course of time, more and more videos will get added to it. So you know what to do. Subscribe. Hit that little uh, icon to get updates on when videos are published because you never know when a new video for this series will be published. At some random date, at some random time in the future, I may add one or two or three or four more videos to this playlist. And you just never know when that will happen. So to uh, know if that happens, you hit that little bell and you'll get you know updates on when new videos are published. Because I don't have a schedule for when that will happen. It will just happen as I continue to work on this character. This is kind of like an ongoing thing that I'll be working on. Pretty much. So for right now, that's what we're going to be doing. And that's what I'll be playing. So the next video, unless I make any big changes, the next video will be Storm Clouds Gather. If I make any big changes before I play that mission, I'll make a separate video about that and then we'll do storm clouds gather but otherwise storm clouds gather will be the next thing to watch and um yeah i just got to learn all i can about this uh, character and how cryptic has set it up the build and everything i mean this is a a nice little ship here this uh, tier 5 u bug but i don't know if I, obviously i don't want that to be my only ship i use so i need to I need to experiment more. Just need to experiment more. But it is set up pretty nice actually right now. So I, I really don't have a ton of complaints. It gets the job done. So that's cool. <laughs> okay, I know I'm rambling. And uh, this is the very first video of this series. So if you will give it um, all your attention and as many likes as you can, that would be, uh, that would just be really, really great. Uh, that way it gets noticed and uh, other people can enjoy this series with me because I really really feel strongly about uh, You know wanting to get this information out there wanting to show people What this faction is like in Star Trek online, but showing it from a thoughtful and um, experienced and a uh, in, in a way where everything is explained and I talk about everything like I said my videos will be lengthy I will talk a lot, I will explain a lot, I will uh, talk about these things because I am very, very big on being in-depth and thorough in uh, these playthroughs, and uh, that's how I want to do it, because I just feel the more information you can get and opinions about something is just, you know, will ultimately help. Instead of, I don't want to just play something through and react to it and then... You know, that's it. I need to put some thought behind it. So all my videos have thought behind them. I just want you to know that. I, I give it the due respect that they all deserve. So this is the beginning of the Jim Hadar Faction Vanguard Gamma Recruit. Whole bunch of words. Playthrough. 
Hope you all enjoyed this first video. Uh, stay tuned. I plan to publish uh, or post uh, one video a day uh, until I get to the end of all the missions on this. So that's what you can expect for right now. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next one.